Kicking techniques distinguish karate from many other unarmed fighting methods. Correctly performed, they can have a devastating effect on an opponent. Many parts of the leg and foot are used to strike an opponent, and the knee is very effective when used at close quarters. To kick effectively, you must make your joint strong and flexible, or your balance will be poor and your kicks weak. This is achieved by systematic stretching and bag training. The hips and flanks must also be made strong and flexible by stretching and performing leg swings to the front and sides. In training, high kicks are acceptable and will help develop a strong sense of balance. They are ill-suited, however, to real combat. High kicks combined with poor balance and a lack of joint flexibility may allow your opponent to catch your kicking leg and use it to throw you down. Kicking requires considerably more practice to master than hand techniques. The legs are heavy and powerful but more difficult to control with finesse than the hands. In a real fight use knee kicks as well as front and side kicks. Kicks to the groin with the toes are especially effective. A word of caution. Kicks delivered to joints can finish a fight and permanently injure an opponent. For this reason, they should never be used in training.